hello hi again everyone so i'm back again here on my youtube channel uh this is gonna be the second day uh when i first started my uh, own channel in youtube so what i'm gonna do now is i'll be painting a bouquet of flowers but this time uh it's not gonna be roses i wanted to try a different flower for my floral bouquets so the flower that i've decided to paint um today is the peony so i'm not sure if that's the right um, pronunciation for that but um, i've heard a lot of watercolor artists in youtube um, i was able to watch their tutorials as well and um, their pronunciation for peony would be peonies but uh, i think i'm gonna be sticking with peonies <laughs> but let me know your thoughts I'm just thinking aloud. Anyway, so um, our materials, um, I'll be including that on the description of uh, the video below. So if you have questions and you want to have a reference on what material I am using um, when I am painting watercolor, then uh, you should check the description box below. To start, um, I dipped my brush on a clean water and then I get a small amount of pigment from the crimson red watercolor. Then for our first petal, I'll just draw C strokes. Okay. And then I'll add some pigment and water. So inverted C strokes. This is going to be our petals for uh, the peony so what i'm doing is that um i'm putting a lot of darker red okay so again this is just a loose watercolor um flower so i'm not gonna be painting into details so for the next step, I I dip my brush on grass green watercolor, and then I created uh, the first leaf. Okay. So as you've noticed, um, since our petals are still wet, um, the green kind of um, bled with the red pigments. So it created um, a natural blending or that's what we call uh, the watercolor bleed. Okay, so now I'm making buds. And another petal for the bigger peony. So I don't have a specific pattern for this. I'm just scribbling uh, C strokes. And I'm adding darker red on the bottom of the flower. Okay. I'm getting a deep green color and mixing it with grass green and then you see how uh, the color green blended with the crimson red okay now I added the leaf and now I'll be adding the stem of the flower okay and I'll add some leaves and I'm mixing green grass and deep green colors I think I'll have a stem here okay and uh, oops 
there's a lot of water okay so if you want to remove excess water from your artwork you'll just have to dry up your brush and then um, get the excess water using the brush okay and then i'll have another one in here a leaf facing downwards so it looks uh, realistic and I'll now paint the third flower so already always remember the darker and the lighter shades when creating flowers or when using watercolor when I started I have really no idea on how to use watercolor so I just um, use it like a uh, Crayola as in I use the pigments heavily and I don't have um, lighter shades and darker shades thanks to YouTube and to the artists watercolor artists and enthusiasts that I follow on Instagram, um, I was able to um, have an idea on how to use or how to paint um, watercolor. Okay, so I'm mixing um, gr green deep again, a deep green again, and um, a gr grand grass green. And then I'm just adding some stem and more flowers there you go okay my camera is a little out of focus i am so sorry okay so additional leaf facing downwards leaves again Sometimes I tend to go leaves crazy and um, I usually don't know how, when to stop adding leaves and fillers. So hopefully um, this artwork, I will not go cray cray over the leaves. Okay, so I'm getting pigments from Crimson Red and I've decided to add another flower on top. So again, I'm just scribbling sea strokes. Make sure that when you create your petals, there are white spaces in between the petals. So your artwork will not be just a um, a blob or a round a plain round figure so there and then I'm adding the stem again So with this piece, I'm just using three types of colors. The one for the flower um, is the crimson red. The greens are the grass green and the deep green. I hope you can forgive me um, on the focus of my camera. <laughs> Okay, so I'll add more leaves. Okay, darker. So uh, this is actually the first time that I've painted outside. Oops! I wasn't able to completely clean my brush. So it's kind of like 
a gray, a mixture of green and a red. It turned out to be like gray. So if that happens, um, you can easily remove the pigment from the paper by using number one, um, a dry brush or a tissue paper. Okay, I think that's ugly. Anyway. Okay. So what's important um, in painting watercolor or painting any, uh, any artwork, even if it's acrylic, is you have to enjoy the process. Do not be too hard on yourself if the initial plan in your head um, will not be the ending of your artwork. So always enjoy the process. Okay, another leaf. And I think I'm gonna get cray cray over this artwork lot of greens and out of focus camera so here's the output of our video process tutorial for the peony flowers bouquet so i hope you enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial and let me know your comments and suggestions on the comments box below and you can follow me on instagram as well thank you